Hi everyone, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, if you have to ask your partner if they're committed, they're not. So a lot of people are getting into a relationship and everything's going really great and it's new and it's fun, but they go home at the end of the night and they're still not quite sure what the partner thinks or feels about them. Things seem to go pretty good, but there's still a little bit of that nagging doubt that maybe you're not on the same page with each other. So if you're going along merrily and you're seeing each other a couple times a week and you're doing really fun things and you're actually talking to each other openly, this is a really good sign. The people that don't talk about what their, their goals are, you know, after a while you've been with them, they don't talk about what, what's important to them, what future, you know, they're looking forward to. There's something that, that maybe they're not telling you. Maybe they're, they're not quite ready to give you the full part of who they are. They're giving you a good piece of who they are, but you want more than that. So I really specify that when you're first dating somebody, I don't know how you're meeting them, whether it's online or a friend's introduced you, but make it pretty clear, whether it's in your profile or somebody's introducing you, that they know that you're ready for a full-time relationship. You're not here just to play, you know, part-time house. You're looking for a committed partner that wants to share their life with you. So usually when something's going really well, you're sort of at that place where you just get each other. There, there aren't a lot of questions, and I know I say that in a lot of videos, but I, I specify it because it's true. When you're in a really good place with someone, it's quite smooth. There isn't a lot of drama, there isn't a lot of questions about when you're gonna see them again because they make it clear that they're interested and they're gonna see you maybe in a week from now or a couple of days later. And you're not left to play the guessing game every night when you go home with, oh, did they like me? Did I, you know, is, am I gonna see them again? Because you're actually conversing about what's happening and what's going to happen in the next little while. They tell you their dreams, they tell you what their goals are for their future. They're not here to play this little, you know, back and forth game of, you know, toxic behavior because they enjoy being with you. Be upfront about it. I'm not saying to do it on the first date and scare the crap out of them, but do it like in the first month or so when you're dating them and know going in and make sure that they know you, you know, you know what they want too, that they're in looking for a relationship, that they're not just here to again, just be part-time, you know, sex partner or buddy or whatever it is, because you're ready for something. It's time to talk about it or it's time to move on. If it's important to you to be in a committed relationship. There's a lot of people out there that are 35 years old that are thinking about having kids and they're spending time with somebody for four years and then they find out way too late that they don't want to have kids or they don't want to be in a committed relationship. Don't be one of those people that finds out too late. If, it, As I say, if it's right, most of the time you don't have to ask the questions. It just flows. It works. So if you have to ask if someone's committed to you, I'd say chances are they probably aren't. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and please leave your comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.